Welcome back here again, everybody. Why can't they just do these things right? Honestly, why can't they just do these things right? I mean, how many times do you have to fail at trying to do something the way you figure it should be? Rather than the way it's actually supposed to be and drawing audiences till you just realize that, you know, clearly you have no idea what the hell you're doing. Now, I didn't even know this was, this was a thing, yeah? but apparently it is. Craven the Hunter star Aaron Taylor Johnson says Sony's version is an animal lover and a protector of the natural world. Now, Craven the Hunter is one of Spider-Man's enemies. He's literally a hunter, Craven the Hunter. The man wears a, a, a lion pelt. He's a, the whole reason why Craven hunted Spider-Man in the first place is because he hunted every other animal and, and, he, and he'd gotten tired of it. No an animal was good. He's either to hunt down Spider-Man. Craven is a villain. That's what he is. He's a villain. But here we have Sony decided to let's go and reboot this into some kind of animal love and particularly natural wood. I mean he's wearing a, a lion's pelt. How much could he love them when he's hunting them and skinning them alive? You know, you would think after Venom that just flopped horribly and a Morbius movie that was so bad because I didn't go and watch Morbius in cinema. I said I'm not going to spend my money for that. I waited until it came out and I streamed it and then like literally 30 minutes into that movie, I just turned it off because I was like, nah, this, this is making no sense whatsoever. It was that bad. We decided to do this. Let's check out this article from Bonding into Comics here. After a Venom movie without Spider-Man here, yeah, and a Morbius movie without an audience, well, oh God, yeah, Sony will apparently attempt to make their Craven the Hunter movie without the character's core personality. Gee, that could only go so well. The studio's upcoming change to the iconic Spider-Man villain was, was revealed by its star, Aaron Taylor Johnson, during an appearance at the recent Cine Europe conference made in promotion of his upcoming film, Bullet Train. Uh, in addition to unveiling a 15-minute preview of the film to attendees and in light of his having just wrapped filming on the villain solo outing, Taylor Johnson also took a moment while on stage to speak on his upcoming role as Craven, who he described as one of Marvel's most iconic, notorious anti-heroes. Really? Spider-Man's number one rival. He's not an alien or a wizard, said the Godzilla 2014 Avengers, Eight of Ultron stars, to what he found appealing about playing the founding member of the Sinister Six. He's just a hunter, a human with conviction, an animal lover, and a protector of the natural world. Well, clearly you don't know the character. He's a very, very cool character. He further added that unlike other Marvel films which, which rely heavily on green screen, Craven was shot entirely on location. Taking Taylor Johnson's words at, at face value, which is all that audiences can presently do in the absence of any trailers, it seems that Sony, like many studios before them, has chosen to radically alter the identity of the characters they're adapting. Ever since, this, ever since his introduction to Spider-Man Mythos in Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, Number 15, Craven has only been concerned with one thing, the hunt. Exactly. It's in his name, Craven the Hunter. A man motivated solely by pride to Craven, there's nothing more important than proving himself to be the world's greatest predator with nothing more than his bare hands, laws, and even human lives he he demand, he damn, be damned, okay. To that end, while Craven has been shown to defend the various wildlife that surround his home in the African wilderness from poachers, to call him an animal lover is a stretch worthy of Reed Richards himself. In these instances, Craven explicitly makes it clear that he is not taking action against the poachers when they are killing of his targets, but rather due to their use of what he considers to be dishonorable methods such as poisons, guns, and the preemptive removal of an animal's defenses via 
mutilation by other poachers in order to make it easier for rich tourists to later kill in achieving their goals. Yeah, so Craven pretty much prefers to hunt animals as they are. Once you take away the ability, you take away the thrill of the hunt. So that while he has shown concern for the environment, conditions of his hunting grounds, this was not because Craven feels any sort of poison, ivy, square empathy for the planet, but again because he sees the methods resulting in the land's destruction as evidence of mankind's underhanded usurping of the animal kingdom's natural hierarchy. While it's possible that Taylor, look, I'm not even going to go through all of this anymore. I mean, the thing about it is, Craven is a hunter. It's what he does. Understand me? His name is Craven the Hunter, for God's sakes. The man hunts animals. He hunts prey. Spider-Man is his prey. He prefers to hunt down Spider-Man because it's sport. He's a, he's a villain. He's gone to lengths to do things to, 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 to get, you know, these, to, get, to, get, to get the very thrill of the hunt. When you take away that from this character, you're stripping the character of everything that makes him interesting. Craven, by nature, is a master hunter. And, and as a master hunter, he wants to experience and enjoy the thrill of the hunt. If you don't allow him to do that, you are essentially destroying his ability to have any kind of relative interest in the hunt. That's what you're doing. And by taking out his ability to, to, to hunt any sort of prey, you're destroying what it is makes him go. When you come out and make uh, assumptions like he's an animal lover and, you know, Craven is, is um, a protector in natural world, and that goes against him. Why can't you just let this, the, these hunters, why can't you just let villains be villains anymore? Venom is a villain. They, they took away that in the Venom movie and decided to make him some kind of anti-hero sludge looking waste of time. Morbius crashed so hard, nobody would even watch it. To even, even try to understand what, what the hell was the point of any of it. Because it sucked that badly. So when you leave things as they are, you get more to it. You get more out of what you're trying to portray. But you all don't do that. You all try to change these things to fit some mold that you believe is what's best for everything, even though it isn't. This Craven the Hunter movie is a bust because it's not, it, it, it's pretty much dead before it even hit the water. Changing this is not going to, to, to make anybody interested in it. It's just going to show that you don't know what the hell you're doing. So stop being that ridiculous for me, please. This is, this is a waste to me, honestly. This is a waste. Let I me mean, know in the comments what you think about this. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. I shall see you all next time. Take care.